Hello, good afternoon again, grade two. I am going to be continuing to discuss about the plural nouns. Now, last time we had our literacy, I had talked about the uh, some of the rules in changing singular to plural nouns. That was uh, adding S to words that ends with the vowels, adding ES as well to words that ends with a vowel, and changing Y to I and adding ES to words that ends with a Y. Now, this time I am going to review as well about the irregular plural, plural nouns that we had discussed couple of days ago. So I'm going to share with you a video just to remind you what we had talked about the regular about the regular pro, plural nouns. Hello grammarians. Welcome to Irregular Plurals Part 4, the mutant plurals. Ooh. Yes, friends. These words have mutant superpowers uh, in that they can transform weirdly and obnoxiously, not obeying any other rules of English pluralization. But here's the cool thing. There are only seven words that behave this way. What way? I'll explain by writing all of them down. The words are foot, woman. Okay, if you have remembered, we had discussed about these and the spellings of these words change as we use them in plural nouns. Now, they, they call it mutant plurals. It's because the spelling change and it is a big change, not just one word, one letter, but the whole word change. Man, tooth. Goose, mouse, louse. Looks pretty straightforward. Right? Okay. These one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight words. We had discussed about this before. Now, I need you to take time, take your time to remember the plural nouns of these singular words that we have on this column. Now, if you can start writing the first word, what or how this singular noun foot change into plural noun. Three, two, one. Okay, let's check if your answer is correct. Uh, the thing about these words is that none of them take S as a plural. So the plural of foot is not foots. The plural of woman is not woman's. The plural of tooth is not tooths. The reason these are called mutant plurals is because the vowel sound, the oo or the uh or the a ah or the oo or the oo or the ow or the ow, turns into a different sound. It turns into a different vowel sound. So the plural of foot is not foots, but feet. The plural of... Okay. Is your answer correct, guys? Give me a thumbs up if your answer is correct. Now let's have the second word. Woman. Woman is not woman's, but women. The plural of man is not man's, but men. Okay. These two words. What was changed in these two words, guys? What letter is changed? What spelling or how? Did the spelling change in these two words from woman to women and from man to men? Yes, it is the letter A. The letter A was changed to letter E. Okay, let's continue. The plural of tooth is not tooths, but teeth. The plural of goose is not gooses, but geese. Okay, if you can see, guys, you have here foot, tooth, goose. 
which are long O's, right? Now, how we change it to plural? We just change the two O's to two E's. So from foot to feet, from tooth to teeth, from goose to geese. Now let's see the with these two, last two words from mouse and louse. How are we changing these two words to plural? Plural of mouse is not mouses, but mice. And the plural of louse is not louses, but lice. Okay. Now, as you can see, the mouse here becomes mice, and the louse here becomes lice. Now, what? which part of the word changes? So these three letters, the O, U, S, was changed to I and C. Same as with the word louse. The O, U, S from the word louse was changed to I and C. You can see that mouse and louse actually change their end spelling as well uh, to from S, E to C, E, even though it's the same sound, louse. Lice. For whatever reason, just from some quirk of our spelling history, not only do we change the vowels used here, we also change the consonants, you see. Why is this the case? I'm so glad you asked. I'm going to save that for another video. In the meantime, just these seven words. Okay, now, why is that the case? As what I had told you yesterday on my first video, nouns in each sentence and we are going to check and change the singular nouns to plural nouns by adding s or es or replacing y with i and add es okay let's start with the first sentence the lady met up at the cafe for tea and cake now the underlined word is lady. Here are three of the words that you can choose from. Which do you think is the correct answer? I would like you to write it on your book. And this is for number one. Write the correct plural noun on your book. Let's move on to the next one. The next one is the donkey plodded along the beach. And our underlined noun is donkey. Make sure to look at the ending letter of our word. Which do you think is the correct spelling? Third sentence. Mom made three different flavor jelly for the party. And our underlined word is jelly. Here are the three choices. Which do you think is the correct answer? Last night, the local fox knocked over our bin. The underlined noun is fox. Which do you think is the correct plural noun of the word fox? My favorite sock are bright purple with yellow spots. And our underlined word is sock. What do you think is the correct plural noun for the word sock? Seven. Number seven. The witch gathered around the boiling cauldron. And our underlined word is witch. Remember to look at the last letters of the word and choose which one is the correct plural noun. Sentence number six. 
I will have to get three bus to travel to the aquarium. The underlined word is bus. The underlined word is bus. So choose which plural noun is correct on the three words below. Let's move to number seven. The fly were buzzing around the manure. The underlined noun is fly. What do you think is the correct plural noun on the word fly? Remember again to look at the end letter of the word. Okay, now we have number eight. My favorite animals to see at the zoo are the monkey. The underlined word is monkey. Now I need you to choose which is the correct plural noun from those three below. And remember to look at the last letter of the word. Okay, and we have number eight. Number eight, guys. The baby were in their cots asleep. The underlined word is baby. So how do we change baby to plural form? Remember to look at the last letter of the word. Write it on your book. And that's it, guys. I need you to make sure to take a screenshot of your work and send it to Tuddle. Have a happy weekend, grade two, and I'll see you on Sunday. Masalama.